Welcome back to Business Playground, and today we'll be going over the URL function exercise. So for this one, we need to uh, write function called greet accepts string param argument and should return hey name and obviously we got an exclamation point at the end so all right that was pretty simple so let's go check this out um so i think this is just um th this there's really nothing special about this this is just like any other function you guys have been doing um i think they're just trying to get you to the the arrow function syntax so i'll go through this one kind of quick so we got greet we're going to type in the name again we could call this anything we want as long as we match it in the code down here and we want to return hey and then there's there's a couple different ways we could do this too, right? So we do we do hey name and or we could do actually I think that's really the only way we want to do it. And we want to do string templates as well, so we can do. And then if you guys don't remember what string literals are, you wrap everything in the in the back ticks, which on an American keyboard is just above the tab on the left side. And any code you run in between a dollar sign and an open and closing brackets is treated as JavaScript, while everything else is treated as a um, as a string. So uh, console run along, and we'll do. Um, is it Boomer? Oh, <laughs> and that's all we would get would be Boomer. <laughs> Ugh, sometimes, man, sometimes. All right, so here we go, hey, Boomer. And an interesting thing you'll notice here is we don't have, um, you know, we don't have a space in between hey and Boomer. And, okay, well, that's weird. Well, let's come back to that first. Let's come back in a second. Let's see if this one isn't any better. Okay, so this one you'll see we do have the space there. So, all right, interesting. So, I, I mean, we put the space there, which is fine. And then if you come up here, you'll notice um, we don't have a space before we do name. So it just, it ties them all together. And that's that's the reason I don't really care for um, this concatenation. If you like it, go feel free to use it. But I use nothing but string template literals unless I can. But, uh. Yeah, let's do it with and just so you know boomers just to make sure it's the one we want and perfect so okay so that was really the issue we just didn't add the space there so um let's oh. let's go ahead and check and see if this passes all right that one did and then we can do it this way All right, and that one passed as well. And then I, I see, not like a lot of people, but I see enough people that I just want to share this. I removed the exclamation point. And this is really about um, reading errors. So, you know, blah, blah, blah. And what you want to do is you want to look for the expected. And so it'll tell you it expected hey blue, which that means that's what I gave it to be hey blue. And you might not see it right away, but you'll notice that it's expecting it to have an exclamation point but I don't have one. So again, I, not like a lot, a lot, but I see it enough times that I did just kind of want to go over that super quick. So, and bam, you'll see we, we did that. So this one was pretty quick because really all it was was the arrow function syntax. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't act any, it doesn't act differently unless you're trying to access to this keyword, which I wouldn't worry about that. So you get the job. Um, but hope you guys learned something. If you guys have questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.